With hash tables in PowerShell, the expression key specifies a PowerShell expression that will be used to calculate a value that will then be displayed. Now, the hash table contains a script block uh, under the expression key that it will evaluate before formatting. That script block can be as much as you need it to be. Now, in the previous example, we saw a very simple hash table uh, with a very simple expression that just pulled a value out of the, uh, the object and, in effect, gave it a different heading. Now, in action, you can use the dollar underscore variable to get the entire object being formatted, and of course, dollar underscore dot xxx to get the property. We saw that by dollar underscore dot cpu to get the CPU, and we then gave it a different heading. You can also invoke a method, and of course, you have all the rest of PowerShell. Now, these expressions can be as much as you want. So let's start with a very simple CPU hash table. We'll have a label CPU charge. And this is going to be formatted as currency. Now, the expression I've got here is the uh, basically expression key uh, value. There's the expression key. And the, and, the, and the actual expression, the script block, is if the CPU is less than or equal to 0.75, then the value will be CPU times 21.21. Otherwise, it's a value dollar underscore dot CPU times 4242. And we'll multiply those two uh, up as appropriate, and then format them uh, using the C2 string. Now, we, we can use those hash tables by, as, as you see here, get process notepad, and then format table name. Now, we'll also format the CPU property and show you what, what PowerShell does by default, and we'll format that same uh, hash table. And when we do that, the hash table looks something like this. And note, the original CPU charge, CPU value, is what PowerShell would normally have done, with a format table of, from get process, and here we have our CPU charge. Now, I'm not suggesting that this expression is actually valid in any business context, but it could be as rich as you want. For example, the expression could find out who, what username you are, go and look you up in a, in a, in a SQL database, uh, multiply times the, times the number of days uh, in the month. Uh, it could uh, charge different values depending upon the day of the week. Uh, I could charge different values on holiday. You can even work out the holiday based upon some local locale-based calendar. So as I say, these can be very rich. Of course, I would always counsel you to keep this as simple as possible. So let's do a slightly richer demo of looking at how we can use hash tables with format table, format list, and of course, format wide. So let's now take a look at using hash tables with PowerShell. Now, if you recall from the previous module, when we issue a command such as get process, uh, if by default we will use predefined views if they exist for our formatting. In this case, we have a predefined view based upon some PS1 XML that's in your $PS home folder, and we get this nice pretty table. Now, if we create a couple of hash tables, $PN is a hash table which will have a label process name, expression, dollar underscore dot name, and a right alignment. We'll have a second hash table called CPU. This will have a label CPU used, expression dollar underscore dot CPU, a format string, numeric three characters, and right aligned. Now, when we use those with format table, we'll get a table that looks something like this, nice and spaced out as is normal for process table. Of course, we can combine the use of hash tables with minus auto size and get the same column sizes, but now slightly, slightly more compressed with less white space. Now let's take a look at a richer hash table. So first of all, we're going to change the label to CPU charge. We're going to change the format string to C2, that's currency with two decimal points. And we're going to have a slightly richer expression. If the CPU value is less than 0.75, the CPU charge will be equivalent to that times 2121. Otherwise, it's the CPU value times 4242. I'm not, I'm not too concerned about the actual business value of that expression, but just shows you the richness of the expressions you can have. Now, with get process notepad, we will now pipe the output of that to our format table. In this case, I'm going to show you both the default formatting of CPU and also the formatting based upon our hash table. When we do that, we get this nice table with our CPU value, which is how we would normally see CPUs displayed in a, in a format uh, formatted table. 
and our calculated for CPU charge. That was what's great, a couple of hash tables with format list. So PN2 will label process name, and we'll also have another uh, hash table called CPU2. And in this case, we'll have the same CPU used. Our expression will come from the previous hash table. And in this case, we'll use C2, currency two, two, two decimal points, for our format string. And we do that, piping the output of get process notepad into format list with both the, the two of the CPU charges here. And we'll see our, our pretty little table. Now let's look at format wide. Let's create a third CPU hash table with just the expression from the earlier value and a, a format string of C2. And now when we get process notepad, pipe that to format wide, we now specify the hash table name and we get a wide output. We can, of course, combine that with the column parameter to format wide and format this across, in this case, four columns. Again, I'm not sure of the business value of this, but it shows you what can be done with format wide. 